Well, whether you're a seasoned Jeep enthusiast or just looking for something fun to do, you can come out and enjoy the third annual Grand Haven Jeep Fest this Saturday. The Lynn Sherwood Waterfront Stadium will be the centralized location for the registration and info tent, the kids' tent, the merch trailer, and the Jeep Fest main stage for announcements and giveaways throughout the day. Now, the area for Jeep displays will be even larger this year. Jeeps on Washington will be starting at Harbor and extending to 4th Street. An exciting addition will be a Jeep obstacle course. Wow. Yeah, more events on all of the events. More details can be found on their Facebook page. Yeah, Jeep life. There you go. Well, the carnival back in town at LMCU ballpark. The fun kicked off yesterday, runs through Sunday. Giant slides, Ferris wheels, and all of those midway snacks. Skurbex is bringing it all. Get a limited ride wristbands for $30 or get your individual tickets for a buck 50 each. Most rides are between three and six tickets, so that wristband, it's a pretty good deal for those who love to ride the rides. The carnival opens at four o'clock today, noon on both Saturday and Sunday. Learn more at Skurback.com. And hot off of its off Broadway premiere, A Taste of Ireland. The Irish music and dance sensation is hitting the Miller Auditorium stage with a production that is Celtic for this generation. Performed by former World Irish Dance Champions and featuring dancers from the West End's Lord of the Dance and River Dance, A Taste of Ireland transports the audience through the story of Ireland's tumultuous history delivered with a pint of Irish wit. You can watch world-class performers blend melodic folk mashups, live jaw-dropping a cappella tap battles. <laughs> a tap battle, yes. yeah! And of course, 100% live singing and dancing. Nothing recorded here. It's all featuring revamped classics of Danny Boy, Tell Me Ma, Wild Rover, and many more well-known songs. Now, the show's tomorrow night at 7.30. Tickets are almost sold out, but there are some in the orchestra. If you'd like to check it out, go to MillerAuditorium.com. Well, if you love gardening, you want to talk about plants, you've exhausted your friends and family, or maybe you have a black thumb like me and you need to learn more, head out to the Kalamazoo Garden Festival this weekend and talk about trees, banter up about bushes. You are with your people. Planting season is here, and this event features vendors selling live plants and other garden-related products. There'll be presentations and workshops. You can get those questions answered before you dig in the dirt. There will be live music, food trucks, and more. It is all across from the Kalamazoo Expo Center at the Fairground Animal Barns. You can get more information on this rain or shine event at KalamazooGardenFestival.com. And another chance to win money and prizes. And all you got to do is get out on those trails. It's all coming from Trail Club. Saturday, they're going to be releasing mm. the next puzzle. Going to find that coin. Remember, all you have to do is go to trail.club. Solve the puzzle, which will take you to the location where there is a code-protected treasure box. Now, the clue to solve the code is part of the puzzle. And the first person to unlock that box will find a treasure coin, which can be exchanged for a $1,000 cash prize. All treasure boxes will be hidden within 45 minutes of downtown Grand Rapids along paved and unpaved trails. Good luck.